What is up, scent heads, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and today we got a tag video for fragrances for life. That's coming up next, and this is Mega Dave's faves. Yo, what is good, Fave fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a Favey baby. It really means a lot. And if this is your first time here, Welcome. As I said before, my name is Mega Dave. This is my channel, Oh So Fresh, and this is my spinoff, Mega Dave's Faves. I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love, and I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me a huge thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy the content. Also, think about subscribing, it means the world to me, and hit me down in my bell end that lets you know I'm uploading new content because who knows it could be your favorite fragrance that I review next. Today, I was tagged by one of my really good friends in Fragcom. His name is Noe Cruz. He has a channel, Titan Fragrance. Really, really cool guy. His channel is right here. Definitely go check him out. Give him a sub. Give him a like. Let him know that Mega Dave sent you over. But he tagged me and he wanted me to tell you guys and him what are my four fragrances for life, one for each season from the designer realm. Of course, King Dua. I got really good niche ones as well. So if we're going to do a niche one, let's get it on. But this is my four designers for life. If I can do one for each season, it's actually tougher than you think. So let's get right into it. All right, I'm going to start with spring since we just passed it. I don't want to have to come back around to it. And I absolutely love spring. Spring is right before summer. Summer is my favorite. Then we got fall kind of dreary, but actually got an amazing scent that works perfect for it. And then winter, of course, which brew, down here, we need some good, strong, powerful stuff that can cut through it. Anyway, let's get into it. My spring fragrance is an absolute monster. It is a beast. It's been around for a very long time in my collection. It'll always stay here just because of the mass amounts of compliments. There's a bunch of difference I wanted to put in here. Honorable mention would have been Aqua de Gio Profumo, but we went with one that is a classic. Another one would have been Dior Sauvage, but it's talked about so much. This one here, Blue de Chanel. How are you going to go wrong with it? It's beautiful. Yes, it's synthetic. Yes, I know everybody and their mama's wearing it because I was in the bed with your mama because she loved the smell of this thing. But it's a great fragrance. It has good power. It smells amazing. It lasts in the spring just fine. You can put it in the summer. This is almost an all season, all occasion, but everybody knows about Blue de Chanel. It's amazing. Like I said, I was going to put Dior Sauvage in here, and it's kind of a toss up whether or not I love one or the other. If I could have two in that season, I would, but this one kind of just pushed me just over the edge, just a hair to pick it for spring. I don't think you're going to get any nasty comments about this. In fact, you're going to get the opposite of it. You're going to get a ton of compliments. This is designed for that. It is very, very nice. Yes, like I said, Ambroxan, it's thick with synthetics, but what is it nowadays, right? This one is just a classic, one that will always be in my collection for spring. This one will be an easy reach, Blue de Chanel, and yes, it's the EDT version. All right, my channel is called Mega Days Faves. You're gonna see this one quite a bit, especially for the summer. It's amazing. In my summer list, I'm gonna to try to be as different as I can, but when we're talking about the best summer fragrances in the designer realm, one comes to mind every single time. I'm gonna grab it every single time, and I have a bunch of freshies. My name is oh so fresh for God's sake, but Razazi Habas. Now, I was kinda of torn whether or not this is considered designer or niche. It's designer all the way, even though they're copying other stuff or I don't know with how good this is. I don't know if it's really fair enough to call this a copy, but just an amazing aquatic fragrance. Invictus Aqua. It's amazing. This is better than Invictus Aqua. You can say what you want. It's a little bit sweeter, a little bit brighter, whatever. The Salty Accord is amazing, but the performance far outdoes Invictus Aqua. Everybody knows that. So you may have indifference, but for summer, I like that aquatic feel. This just one that hits me in my heartstrings. Rosazi Habas will always stay. This is a little bit older bottle. I've heard reformulations have watered it down like always, but this is a little bit older of a bottle. Like I said, still amazing. Ton of juice left in it. You don't need much to put on, but you're going to get compliments and is one that I always, always will have especially for summer. If we get hot, putting this on, baby, and I'm feeling good. Rizazi Habas. All right, fall time. 
cuddling up, starting to wear some Ugg boots. You got some sweatpants on. Leaves are starting to change. The cold weather is starting to roll in. The hot weather is gone. But there's still some bright things to look forward to. We do get to see women in yoga pants again. We do start to sip on some lattes and we don't have to go out and get scorched 10,000 degrees. And the last one is that we get to wear something amazing like Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de L'Homme. This, this, this. This is beautiful. Probably one of my favorite scents. This is my favorite date scent. It is uh, just, it's just gorgeous. I think when they made this, they kind of broke the mold. This is a little bit older of a bottle as well, but it's so, so seductive. It's so beautiful and it handles the cross between both. Excellent. The cardamom note in here is amazing. It's got a little bit of fruit. It's just, it's beautiful. Everybody probably knows about this thing. And for good reason, it's it's probably the best in the line. Tux is great. Caban is great. Loam is great. Ultimate, there are, there's a bunch of great ones from Yves Saint Laurent, but this one cannot be touched. And especially for the fall, I would reach for this 10 times out of 10. If there was 10 days in a week in fall, I would grab this 10 days. I'm just telling you, it is amazing. If you've never smelled it, you owe it to yourself to at least smell it one time. Maybe you don't have to try to find the 2010. If it's a newer batch and it just doesn't have the performance that it used to have, you're still going to be okay. Reapply it. But this one, the older batches last a little bit longer. It's amazing. So for fall, this one will be in my collection for the rest of my life. Beautiful. All right, now we got winter. I had a bunch of tobacco fragrances, have a bunch of different stuff, but I thought of one that I've wore numerous times in the winter time and got compliments through the snow and the ice, especially one of my wife's favorites. So I have to have stuff that she's going to enjoy. She's my partner, right? So all of these, she loves them all. This one in particular is one of her favorites. Yes, it's an older fragrance. Yes, it's outdated. Yes, a thousand million people wear it. Yes, it is kind of basic bitch, but she loves it. It cuts through the winter just fine. I'm going to continue to have it forever because I need compliments from my girl because if she don't like it, she don't want to touch me and I need some touching. Paco Rabanne, one million. Yeah, one million. The one that looks like a gold bar. This thing is, is, right? People already know what one million is. It's been out for a very long time, but it is a beautiful, beautiful juice. Again, this is an older bottle. I probably put a tiny dent. You probably can't see it. It's about right here, but I just sprayed. It's spicy. Yes, it's synthetic. It smells like some clubs. It can be used for a lot of occasions, but for the winter time, it just cuts right through the ice in the snow like a knife. You don't have to go too heavy. And this is the EDT and it still slices through like a hot knife and butter because it kind of looks like a stick of butter, right? And I'm not going to show off my hand knife skills and cut through this bottle because my wife would kill me, but she does. I get compliments from her from this every time I wear it in the air. Just amazing. Spice Bomb Extreme was going to be one, but I did see that Titan you did put Spice Bomb in yours. So I wasn't going to reuse it, but she prefers this over Spice Bomb anyway. So this would have been the main choice. I was thinking about putting Dolce & Gamada the one. There was a bunch of different ones, Dior Homme Intense. A couple different ones are in my head. This one had to think of my old lady. Do one that she loves and one that I know that will perform for you guys in the winter. So hopefully you get compliments from your wife and you can perform as well. <laughs> but that's all I got. That's my four for life. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if there was any surprises. I know there's a couple in there that probably other people will have on their list because they're that good, but I just can't take them out. Whether or not someone's going to use them, I have to put them in there for me, for myself. This is Mega Dave's faves, right? So that's what I gave you. So it's my turn to tag. I'm going to tag Mark from Firehouse Frags. You're up. Let me see your four for life from the designers. Don't go niche, but I want to kind of get into a niche one as well. So I may end up doing a four for life from niche, but Mark from Firehouse Frags, you're up. Let me see what you got, big boy. But until I come to you again, and as always, I love you. Continue to be blessed. Stay fresh. We got the flow. We got